You got knocked out. What happened? I thought you was a legend. I thought you was this. Get out my way. You ain't talking about? But why your favorite rapper dead right now with bullet holes in his face? Yo, you think King Von Thirsty? I think King Von Thirsty. Listen, but for Snoop Dogg, I'm on you now. Rat boy, you really better leave me alone. Get out my way. Rainbow head. And I was like, definitely, I'm definitely snitching, right? <laughs> and then, and then, no, seriously. Rappers react to 6 9 dissing them. 6 9 has been dissing rappers and calling them out. Stupid. Putting them on the spot so they feel pressured to respond and defend themselves. Why are you always around a whole bunch of security? Which calls for some pretty entertaining, heated personal disses. And you already know, sometimes career ending info gets revealed. In this video, we go over rappers who react to 6 9 dissing them and how they respond. So be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Meek Mill is shaking in his boots. Fuck you! As a fuck you! Man, you security! This is security! When he was responding to the allegations thrown at him by 6 9 you're definitely gonna see why. The beef between 6 9 and Meek Mill has been stretched for so long. Literally like years. At first, it seemed like just a professional rivalry, but after 6 9 became a snitch for the FBI, which we'll obviously have more on later, he received a whole new level of hate from people like Meek Mill. Because he was looked like he was living a life that wasn't his life. He still wasn't looking at him like he was real. Because of what he was doing, Meek said this. I hope that rap going live to apologize to the people he told on or the victim. Y'all forgot that Faster Rat killed Nipsey. He wasn't supposed to be on the streets. That's the only thing I'ma say because he's dead. Left his baby mom and child like a coward as targets. You're not checking on my mom. You're not paying nothing for my daughter. You're not doing anything for me. You're not even wondering if I'm calling somebody or not. Now you're just an informant behind a keyboard trying to troll families you ruined. So it's not gonna hit the same. And by the way, I'm doing this for my sons so you won't be around to impact their lives ever. I got way more money too. Don't even bring that up. Because people Not music be trash, but fire. So like, <laughs> but, but do you think it's the music? I mean, music's d decent, but do you think it's the music or everything that's around it that makes people gravitate towards you? He said it's decent. I don't do the internet numbers. We do the bank. And this led to 6 9 calling him out repeatedly. And eventually, he tried to get physical with him. And I mean that so literally. Cause Takashi and Meek were an inch away from trading punches super early on one Sunday morning in February. When I first met, when I first met the gang, right? As a surprising encounter led to heated words and even security getting involved. Both these guys were at a club in Atlanta and as Meek was getting in his car about to leave, boom, Takashi appears and they both start. That's a fight. That's a fight. In the video, you hear both rappers and their security yelling at each other. It literally seemed like Takashi was trying to lunge at Meek. Obviously, we knew they were going to take this to social media, where all the beef happens. And as always, our boy 6 9 wasted no time to point out how fake Meek Mill was. Now, we only say that because 6 9 posted this. Stop letting these rappers lie to you. They too rough for security, Meek Mill running around with police. And Meek's response was this. 6 9 waited outside the club for me. We did not run into each other. I was getting in my car, he just popped out. We almost was smoking on that 6 9 pack for the love of a viral moment. He trying to get something locked up, no cap, lol. And then Meek lowered the boom. He stated, the feds sent him to take me out. What the f I had to spit on him so he retreated, lol. He really waited outside the club for me. I thought I was dreaming, what the f We almost smoked him, lol. He posed a little threat popping up in the parking lot waiting for me. So like Meek was saying, 6 9 was definitely lying and waiting for Meek to come out. But more than likely, in this particular case, 6 9 could have run into Meek Mill at the Atlanta club and then realized there was potential for major trolling to occur. Yo, securities, bring 6 9 over here, huh? He found his vehicle and waited to pop into action, which he apparently did in the most 6 9 way possible. The feuding didn't stop here though, because it was revealed that 6 9s true plan was to get Meek Mill on camera and expose him in his new video, Zaza. Meek Mill even pulled a legal trick to get it taken down from YouTube before 6 ix team was able to put it back up. Then in March, 6 ix 9 made a post challenging Meek Mill to a contest 
of literal strength. He added this in his caption. Tell Meek Mill, come fight me. 1v1, the streets versus the real life. I don't do nothing for free. And I got more money than this bozo, and he been rapping for 10 years. Just in this video, 500,000 plus 600,000, that's everything just in this video that I own. We are not on the same level, bozo. Y'all even bring that clown over here. What y'all, what y'all trying to get me in trouble? 6 9 bro, what are you even saying right now? This is obviously a clear attempt to stir up another troll with Meek Mill. But another thing I want to say here is that 6 9 most definitely cannot go through with this fight. Because if he does, obviously he can get thrown back in jail. His release with the plea deal was contingent on him staying on the straight and narrow. If anything actually happened at the nightclub with Meek, it could have been viewed as him violating his parole. Meek hasn't responded to his latest post. The amount of people defending Nipsey Hussle saying this was too far was actually surprising. The rappers getting shot in y'all face, getting shot in y'all, like, I'ma give security to me, y'all ain't gonna RIP me. Y'all not gonna put me on a t-shirt. Usually people just ignore the beef, but this time they just couldn't hold back. You might be surprised by this one because sadly, Nipsey Hussle is no longer with us. And that is a genuine tragedy, but when it comes to 6 9 it really doesn't matter if you're alive or passed on. He has proven that he will come after you regardless. And still to this day, Nipsey's name is still in his mouth. This started off in 2020 when 6 9 had a series of incidents to help build hype for his first post-prison album, Tattletales, which by the way, absolutely flopped. But in August of that year, he made a social media post at the mural dedicated to Nipsey and Crenshaw. 6 9 took it there, and in a video he posted on social media, he waved to Hustle fans who were at the mural and knelt before the mural in respect to Nipsey and said the following on Instagram. Rest in peace, Nipsey. I know you're looking down on me. I'm out here in the hood paying my respect, rainbow emojis. P.S. The store was closed, but they painted this on the same block. Now, the problem here was 6 9 and Nipsey Hussle weren't even cool like that. But let me explain. This is what 6 9 had to say about Nipsey Hussle once upon a time. And when I say once upon a time, I mean literally days before he paid respects to the mural. Like, why your favorite rapper dead with bullet holes in his face? Why your favorite rapper is getting shot in the face and all that? I'm gonna keep security with me. Y'all ain't gonna RIP me. Y'all ain't gonna put me on a t-shirt. So that alone was already a lot of disrespect on a beloved rapper. But on the flip side, the whole looking down on me thing was bunk because Nipsey Hussle hated 6 9 for being a snitch. He even said this in a rap once. I can't name a fake that was not exposed. How y'all so surprised that Takashi told? I mean, I've been holding my tongue because I said, you know what? I'm on house arrest. It's a lot of disrespect. Ain't a real street, unless you got code. But he wasn't done though. On the real 92.3 show, Nipsey said this to Big Boy when asked about his thoughts on Takashi. The public shouldn't even react to clown The public should follow the real. If the real ain't reacting, so y'all don't react. Put the dude on goofy time and just let him sit over there doing what he doing till expire. Cause it's always gonna self-destruct. Clearly, a lot of rappers were angry that 6 9 basically violated the mural by praising Nipsey and thus responded like this. Looks so desperate for attention, lol. Another person said, it isn't even genuine. Your face says it all. Shake my head. The Game, who was one of Nipsey's closest friends, even said this. Disrespectful. Keep playing. Pop Smoke dead but 6 9 alive? Hashtag guess rats outliving humans. You think I want to be added to the niggas who died? One of Nipsey's former affiliates had some crazy harsh criticism about 6 ix 9s motives. 6 9 hold up. Why you coming to my hood? Don't come to know Nip Hustle a crip on 6 0 death before dishonor. So yeah, a lot of words, a lot of feelings, a lot of anger, but how does this all relate to 2021? On March 5th of this year, 6 9 hopped to Academics' comment section after he shared a clip of 6 9 yelling at someone, filming him on a yacht. Not only did he again defend his decision to become a federal government star witness, but he also dragged Nipsey Hussle's name into it. Literally saying that Nipsey's loyalty to the rolling 60s Crips essentially costed him his life. But you want me to die? And they'd be like, what? Where was his security? You know, I'll never live my life in fear, ever. He wrote the following. To 
all you loyal rap fans, just remember your favorite rapper, only gangsta in the studio. They don't get locked up for anything gangsta. And just remember, just because you snitch, don't mean you soft. You see what happened to your boy Nipsey, the truth hurts. As you might have already guessed, Nipsey's fans, as well as most of his loyal friends and rappers, absolutely raged against 6 9 for what he said. So naturally, he backpedaled. After catching heat from the game and reason, 6 9 denied he disrespected Nipsey at all by taking the photos that he did in LA. Saying at that point in time, I love Nipsey. You saw I paid respect, got on one knee. I love Nipsey, you heard? Just like you love Biggie, that's it. That's all, except 6 9 can't play that card. He just can't because he literally said, you see what happened to your boy Nipsey? A clear reference to his death and poking fun at him for dying while being loyal to his crew in the cribs. If you pay attention, he was clearly saying that when it comes to loyalty, it doesn't matter. I'ma leave that to y'all niggas. I'ma leave that to y'all niggas living y'all life in fear. Getting hit all in y'all because it either gets you nowhere or it ends with you in the grave. Which is honestly really ironic considering 6 ix disloyalty has literally made him an outcast. Not to mention he's still wanted by the 9 trade bloods in the worst way possible. So much so that he has to have security at all times, which by the way is something he criticized Meek Mill for, to keep him alive. And Eminem, yeah, our boy Eminem, even responded to the 6 9 diss and let me just say he didn't have anything good to say. Say. Eminem has been trying to get back into the flow he had in the early days when he was a top rapper and didn't change who he was after a near death experience. But when he came back in 2018 with the track Kamikaze, a lot of people noticed he went after many members of the mumble rap genre, including Lil Pump, Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Yachty, notice a trend here, and so many more, but one he didn't go after was 6 9 which apparently didn't sit well with 6 9 Because not long after Kamikaze dropped, 6 9 decided to start a situation with Eminem yet again. 6 9 posted an Instagram video where he dropped lyrics over an instrumental of one of Eminem's most popular songs, Lose Yourself. You thought right when you ain't diss me. I'm a lyrical legend. I know they miss me. All you mumble rap kids, colorful hair, can't compare to the lyrical phenomenal that's right here. Oh yeah, he said that. But it should also be noted that he deleted that post right away, mainly because he knew Eminem was gonna come after him and he didn't want that. But who would? But it was only a matter of time. Fast forward to December of 2020, 6 9 finally got his wish because in one of the songs on Eminem's album, Side B, he says this. She says I'm trash, but she listens to Takashi. Oh, that's obviously a burn and a burn that he definitely deserves. Rest in peace to the fallen soldiers but that's on y'all. Where my son academics at? He back outside, New York, what up? Anyone who objectively listens to his music just knows it. So just leave it to Eminem to make a diss by reiterating a key fact. But moving on, something didn't sit well with rap legend and OG Snoop Dogg, and I'm gonna tell you why. Another OG who has made no bones about the fact that 6 9 is a rat and deserves to be hated for it is our guy, Snoop Dogg. After everybody found out he was a snitch, 6 9 was happy to blast anyone who claimed what he did was wrong, including our boy Snoop Dogg. And he had a lot to say about it. Snoop said the following during his Instagram live. Is busters right now. The era I come from, you couldn't tell on a snitching, working with the federal government. After the government shut down, the decides to work with the federal government. I swear to God, this new gang banging is robotic to me. So how did 6 9 respond? Last time he said something, I ain't had time. But today, I got time. You better get off my lawn. You wouldn't even believe me when I tell you it was by trying to prove that Snoop himself was a snitch too. Plot twist. 6 9 left a comment suggesting Snoop had snitched on Knight. You're in denial, the paperwork is online, and Suge Knight speaks on it from prison, but we choose to ignore who we want to call rats. And Snoop's response was pretty swift. You better get the off my line. Rat boy, you really better leave me alone. I ain't the one. No way. Go on and do your and get out my way. You funky dog head, rainbow head, dog head. Yeah, you better leave the dog alone. You find you a cat, Tom and Jerry. With the dog, nothing nice. 
rap boy. As you can see, Snoop Dogg is very passionate about this, and he has every reason to be. The rap industry is basically a part of him and has been for decades. He's one of their most famous members, and he knows what you need in order to be considered a real rapper. And if it wasn't obvious, 6 9 definitely broke that rule. Who slipped for King Von yet? Western piss. Snoop has been a one-man wrecking crew trying to bring 6 9 down, even going after the media for reporting on 6 9 because it doesn't add anything to the world. It almost reduces it. And there are so many rappers out there who would agree with Snoop and are even allying with him to get 6 9 out of the rap world. For good, 6 ix ex-girlfriend and baby mama didn't even have good things to say about him. Sarah Molina exposes 6 9 in a way that cuts deep. So this ends not with the actual rapper, but his former partner, Sarah Molina. She's someone who knew 6 9 both before and after his rise to fame, and she has been one of his biggest critics because of how she was treated by him. He left her fearing for her life after he snitched on the Nine Trade Bloods because he didn't warn her or their child that this was coming. 6 9 has repeatedly put Sarah Molina on blast and even flaunted his new girlfriend, Jade, as a better girl. But my girl Molina was not phased. King Vaughn and all his men was just Jumping Quando Rondo by himself. You see it? It was on 4K. Facts. Quando Rondo was by himself getting jumped. In fact, she was part of the documentary made about 6ix9ine, and she happily opened up about how much he's changed and how it was his ego that led him to being the outcast he is right now. Specifically, she said this I'm gonna be completely honest. It wasn't the music, it was just the image and it completely turned me off. Uh, I'm not one of these girls that you rap about. And you know, I'm here with you and I'm in this relationship. And now I gotta worry about you living the lifestyle that you're rapping about. I gotta worry about these girls. I gotta worry about you being disrespectful. I gotta worry about all this other stuff. You wasn't really that bad of a person before, you know? Selfish, yes, but the way you got to now is just completely different. I wouldn't be able to explain the person he is today. I don't know that person. Now, all of this just makes so much sense. And sadly, it gets even deeper. That would make all these excuses, right? Nah, because if King Bone would have murdered somebody that night, y'all would have chose his side and said, yo, son is a demon, son. I told you, son is a demon. Because in that same documentary, she revealed that because he lacks in trying to raise their daughter, his own daughter doesn't even recognize him. When I allowed him to see our daughter, and that's only a few months ago for the first time, after two years, a year, she called him a friend. She doesn't know, but it tripped me out when she did it because it looks like she hasn't seen his face this time. So, you know, as a mother, when I was, you know, going through this stuff, the whole hand being locked up for trial, everything. You know, even though my daughter was young, I just wanted to see it did have an effect. It should be an embarrassment to him and kind of a low blow. You can be as great as a superstar and you can still be all these things to everybody else in the world. You can do great at what you do, great at trolling and marketing, great at coloring your hair, but you can't be a great dad and that's, you know, it's unfortunate and it sucks. Many would note that when it comes to 6 9 their daughter is likely better off without him. Yo, drink up, stupid! Yo, King Von, drink up! He has proven time and time again that he doesn't respect the living or the dead, just himself. He sees women as objects and nothing more, and he feels like he's the best ever, even though we can all agree he's honestly one of the worst. And that's definitely not the kind of person you want out here raising a whole child. There's already enough hate and ego in this world, and his influence tainting his child would only add to that. And that is the last thing this world needs. But with that said, there you have it. A look at 6 9 and the rappers he's insulted, and all the insults that got thrown back at him because of it. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.